I think in primary school, one of the most differentiating things were like us, us as guys used to be beaten at the back and the ladies on the pound. So I think that was one differentiating thing about boys and the girls. Well, I can't really remember. Maybe I was in nursery or something. <laughs> I can't quite recall. If I gave a story, I would be lying. Yeah. I can recall is when my dad used to tell me, you are not a boy, you are not a girl. Behave like a boy. Play with the boys. Don't play with a girl. Don't play with girls. That's when I realized uh, there's a difference between me and my sister and my neighbors who are uh, girls. be a woman is a privilege. To be a woman is actually being blessed. To be a woman is a gift. Why? Because there's a lot a woman can do within a very short span of time. Tell a woman to cook, she will cook. Tell a woman to be a CEO, she will be a CEO. Tell a woman to cry, she will cry. Not because of her weakness, because she's healing from something and she ends up you know, just becoming bold than she was previously. So being a woman is a package that nobody else can give it to you. How I define a woman is uh, the opposite sex of a man who ensure the continuation of life, you know. Um, I mean, without the woman, the human species wouldn't really continue, would it? Womanhood is a daily struggle to be perfect and a daily struggle to do everything for everyone with no appreciation and have a smile on your face. Womanhood is, from what I've read and uh, what my, my big brothers or my uncles and fathers said, is a woman is someone that nurtures, okay? Is more like an incubator. So you give a you give a you give a a man, she gives you a family. <laughs> you give her a house, she gives you a home. We'll be discussing this and more on the Overreact podcast. Make sure that you tune in live to Capital FM every Monday at 10 p.m.